Hi everyone, and welcome to your next lecture in Computer Science for Everyone. This time let's talk about how we can go through all the elements of an array, or as we say it, iterate through an array. What are the array's properties? Arrays have a length, which this is the number of elements that is in the array. If you know this length, then you know the number of elements in the array, obviously. If you remember from previously in the course, we studied the for loop. The for loop is used to repeat something a number of times. Let's remember how the for loop was programmed. We have the initialization, for example, int i equals zero. Then the test, such as i is less than five. And then the increment that happens at the end, such as i plus plus, which increases i by one. Then we do something, and then we close the for loop. For example, something like this. Int i equals 0, this is going to be our index. While i is less than 10, we repeat. And at the end of each iteration, we increase i by 1. So we're going to effectively print the numbers from 0 to 9 with this for loop. We will see this later on as well. So how do we traverse the array? Let's say we have an array with five numbers called my array. And it has the numbers 5, 3, 1, 6, and 7. The way we do it is that we have our index, and then i is less than the length of the array, and then we increase the, the array. And then we print the array index, and we close the for loop. So what's happening here is on i equals 0, we are printing the 0th index of the array, which is the first element, or number 5. On i equals 1, which happens after we increment it, i is still less than the length of the array, which is 5. And we print the first element, or element number 2. It kind of feels weird saying it that way. Which is number 3. i is 2, we print number 1. i is 3, we print number 6. i is 4, we print number 7. i is 5 then 5 is no longer less than 5, which is the length. So we don't print anything else. If we tried printing my array and between the, the square brackets 5, which doesn't exist, remember this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we tried printing my array 5, we would get an error in Java, um, which would essentially crash our program. So we don't want to do that. This is why we iterate from 0, which is the 0th element, or element number 1, to the length, but not including the length. The length is the number of elements. So, whereas this is index 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, the size of the array, or the length of the array, is 5 elements. So if we go to, but not including 5, we're going from 0 to 4. So this is how we would traverse the array. Now let's go into the next video, and we're going to try to program some array traversing, and I'll see you in the next video.